Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Bust Your Bookie Show, the soccer edition. We're back as Bet 71 Tips. Jacob here to take you through the weekend's plays for soccer. Uh, we, I think on the last YouTube video we did for the tennis, I think we ended up going two wins and one loss. So uh, we had a bit of an unfortunate loss with uh, Pericard, who lost in three sets, despite his serve uh, being very effective uh, at times. But he, struggled for that consistency in the final set which was disappointing to see but then we did follow that up with a couple of nice winners uh pretty comfortable winners as well with lucas Puy winning in straight sets to cover his handicap and dialboran winning comfortably in straight sets against uh who was it the the frenchman that he come up against uh he ran one really really comfortably which is great to see and um yeah it's been a, a, a pretty solid day in the bet 71 premium service so we've had a couple of frustrating losses um here or there but a couple of nice winners as well so i think we're looking roughly near on a break even for today um which is good to see after some narrow losses um so do remember to click the link in the description to join us in the bet 71 premium service i think we had a couple more join us overnight which is great to see and welcome to those that have joined us in the in the service fingers crossed you've joined at the right time because i'm sure you have with uh we've hit some really nice consistency on this channel in particular with the winners um and fingers crossed we can kick on heading into the weekend with plenty of plenty of soccer bets coming up uh in the channel already and uh it's well worth heading over there to get the most out of our service um for there as we only post a small fraction of our bets on this channel so do head over there and join us for just 9.99 a month also in the description there will be a link to the free telegram where we post a few of our plays as well as our twitter if you do need to contact us for whatever reason uh to ask any questions on the plays we take uh, and also do remember to like and subscribe to the Bust Your Bookies show. And let's aim for let's aim for 20 likes on this soccer video. Um, and let's comment 4 and 0 because we have got four plays coming up for you. Back to the four on the football, well, the soccer as it's known in America. And fingers crossed that can pay off uh, with some good luck heading into the weekend. So for the first play of the day, we've got a little parlay for you here. So, uh, these games, well, the first of these games takes place at 9 a.m. Central Time on the Saturday. Um, and the first one in this is from the Premier League. And the second match is from La Liga in Spain. So the full bet is nice and simple with this one. Aston Villa to win against Wolves and for Real Madrid to win against Espanyol. So Aston Villa, first up, they're high on confidence after an impressive win over a Swiss team in the Champions League in midweek, which was good to see. They were comfortable winners in that match. And they also came back from two goals down against Everton recently in their last Premier League match to win 3-2 in their last home match at Villa Park, which is where they'll be playing this weekend. They should have enough quality against the Wolves side, who are really low on momentum at the moment. Um, they're 18th out of 20 in the Premier League table and haven't won any of their opening four matches this season. They were also beaten by Brighton in midweek in the EFL Cup. Um, so that's another defeat for them, which will be frustrating viewing for their supporters. And it doesn't get any easier here against an Aston Villa side. They've got a strong squad available to their manager, Unai Emery. He's, um, I think he's got his star man, Ollie Watkins, available. And with Duran, who is a um, primarily their second choice striker in such good form himself, he's uh, he's got a nice selection dilemma to have heading into the match with two players playing really, really well. And uh, they should prove too strong against Wolves here, especially on home soil and with the struggles that Wolves are having in this match. So Aston Villa to win or Aston Villa money line against Wolves is the first part of this parlay. And nice and simple with the second part of this parlay to boost the odds nicely a little bit. We're taking Real Madrid to win against Espanyol. So Real Madrid are third in the table and they are unbeaten so far in the La Liga season which won't come at all as much of a surprise, to be honest, because they've got a very, very strong squad that's going to be challenging for the title once again this season. And then they're going to be far too strong on home soil against an inconsistent Espanyol side that Real Madrid have beaten in their last three meetings. So rather routine win here for Real Madrid, we're expecting, which uh, is a nice combination for a parlay here. So Aston Villa to win against Wolves and Real Madrid to win against Espanyol is the first play of the weekend over to our second play we're heading into i think the first time we've backed a team from this country on this channel uh we're heading over to scotland uh in this one so with this match takes place at 9 a.m central time on the sunday so a little bit of interest for you on the sunday and it's from the scottish league cup 
So for this one, we're going to be taking Celtic to win both halves of their match against Falkirk. So pretty self-explanatory with this bet. They can either win it. They can win 1-0 in the first half and 1-0 in the second half. Um, so as long as they win both halves, then this match will be a winner. So uh, Celtic are the best Scottish team at the moment in time by a country mile, to be honest. They've won their last 11 matches uh, and they're also, they haven't been beaten in their last 24 matches, which makes for hugely impressive viewing. They've thrashed uh, Slovan Bratislava 5-1 in the Champions League in midweek. And they've got plenty of momentum on all fronts here, to be honest. They've got a nice bit of depth as well, which will hopefully see them through as they could make a couple of changes to their team here for the Scottish League Cup, which isn't as high priority for Celtic compared to some of the other competitions they're competing in. But Celtic have got more than enough quality and should prove too strong against the full Kirk side that play their football in the Scottish Championship, which is one division below the division Celtic currently play in. Despite winning all five of their matches in the in the Scottish Championship this season, full Kirk, Celtic are a completely different uh, animal compared to any of the teams they've come up against. And bear in mind, Celtic have been the first half winner in nine out of their last 10 matches. We're backing them to win both the first and the second half here, which is a nice price given the slight golfing class between both teams here. So Celtic to win both halves against Falkirk is our second play of the day. And over to our third play, we've got another parlay here for you. It's the, the final parlay of, of the weekend, so you won't have to worry about those too much. So this one takes place, both matches at 9am Central Time. And the first match is from English Championship and the second match is from English League One. So we are taking Burnley to beat Portsmouth and we're combining that with Huddersfield Town to beat Northampton Town. So Burnley have been really impressive this season and are fourth in the table in the championship after their opening five matches this season. They're, uh, they've got a good amount of momentum as well heading into this one. They beat Leeds United away from home last time out and are going to take a serious amount of confidence from that great win um, over one of their likely promotion rivals this season. They're going to be too strong here at, on home soil against a newly promoted Portsmouth side that haven't won a game this season. So sort of confidence is completely at the other end of the scale there. And it's, it really doesn't get much tougher in the championship than heading to Burnley, uh, who, who play some really nice football as well, especially with the quality of players they've got at their disposal. And we're combining that, as we said, with Huddersfield Town to beat Northampton Town in what should be another one-sided contest. Huddersfield have won four out of their last five matches uh, this season, and they've looked hugely impressive in recent weeks. They are they come into this one off the back of a really, really impressive win and they thrashed Bolton last time out, which was a surprise given how strong Bolton can be, especially at home. But Huddersfield dispatched them with relative ease and they really sent a statement out to the rest of their promotion rivals in that match. And again, they should be winning uh, against the Northampton side that have only won once from their opening five matches this term. And Northampton are going to know they're likely to be on the back foot for the majority of the match on Saturday against a really strong Huddersfield team. So, yeah, nice and simple with that little parlay again. It's uh, Burnley to beat Portsmouth and Huddersfield Town to beat Northampton Town. And over to our fourth and final play of the day. We're heading over to English League Two and it's another 9am Central Time on Saturday for this one. So we are taking over 2.5 goals in the match between Grimsby Town versus Bromley. So both of these teams struggle not to concede goals um, and Grimsby have conceded at least one goal in their last 11 matches. Bromley also like to concede goals pretty freely and have conceded a, at least one goal in their last five matches. Although they've not been shy in scoring goals up the other end of the pitch in their first season in League 2 after winning promotion last season. And Bromley have also had over 2.5 goals in four out of their last five matches whilst Grimsby have had over 2.5 goals in their last six matches. And also more statistics to throw here that, that further back up this bet. We've uh, Both teams have scored in Bromley's last five matches, whilst Grimsby's last seven matches have seen both teams scoring. So we're expecting an entertaining match here on Saturday with plenty of goals. So it's going to be an interesting one uh, for the neutral to view there, but we're expecting plenty of goals. So over 2.5 goals in the match between Grimsby Town and Bromley. And so that wraps up our four plays for the weekend. Fingers crossed we can have a 4-0 sweep on the channel for soccer. We've uh, got some nice value taken in the uh, the Bet71 premium service. So do again remember to join us over there to make the most out of all the bets we're taking. 
And uh, do remember to like and subscribe and comment for now. Give us the good vibes heading into the weekend. We've had a really strong week on this channel. So fingers crossed we can finish up this week nicely with some winners on the soccer. And we will see you in the next one.